I will give a presentation about. Regarding collaborative efforts among universities, high schools, and boards of education to develop scientific skills. 1. Introduction Various learning methods are used in class to increase high school students' interest in science and deepen their understanding, but it is also effective to arouse further interest and increase motivation for learning through learning that goes beyond the framework of the subject. As a method for realizing curriculum management and career education as indicated in the new course of study for high school, there is a perspective of fostering qualifications and abilities while collaborating and collaborating with society. The author has been working with third-year junior high school students since 2019 to explore a single theme for one year. It is possible to pursue deep learning that goes beyond the framework of regular classes and subjects, but it is important to build the foundation of a system for this purpose. It would be great to be able to share some of the highly specialized learning that universities offer with high school students, but in many cases, it is difficult to link the supply and demand of both high schools and universities. There are few opportunities for high school and university teachers to interact with each other, and creating opportunities for collaboration is often a challenge. In such cases, one effective countermeasure would be for the Board of Education, which is aware of the needs of high schools, to take the lead and approach universities to promote collaboration. Promoting coordination related to collaboration by the Board of Education indicates that the foundation for collaboration between high schools and universities is stable and will also lead to securing high-quality educational opportunities. In order to achieve these goals, universities, high schools, and boards of education collaborated to hold two special courses aimed at approaching the appeal of science that goes beyond regular classes. I have provided an overview of Case 1. The theme is culinary science, which is a specialty of university instructors. We conducted an experiment with soup stock and cupcakes. We approached the dashi that is familiar at Japanese dining tables from a scientific perspective and conducted quantitative experiments using analytical equipment and reagents that are only possible at a university. Specifically, we prepared kombu dashi kelp stock and a ways dashi mixed stock and investigated the difference in the amount of glutamic acid. An overview of the method is shown here. Two types of soup stock were prepared and quantified using a glutamic acid measurement kit. Next is an overview of the cupcake experiment. In this experiment, two types of cupcakes were made with different amounts of sugar added and the condition of the dough and finished product were compared. We investigated how different amounts of sugar affect appearance, aroma, taste, texture. The main purpose of this report is to summarize the students' experiences and impressions of the special courses that were realized through collaboration, as well as the impressions of those involved. Therefore, details of the experimental methods and results conducted in the course will be omitted. The students' behavior when they conducted the dashi experiment was as follows. This was the first time they had used the micropipette used to quantify glutamic acid, and it was impressive to see serious they were as they practiced operating it. It was also first time to work with the unit muel and to use microplates and microplate readers. This type of experiment was one of the things that could only have been carried out in collaboration with a university. In addition to quantifying glutamic acid, the students also learned about how the taste changes when two types of umami components are combined, and the importance of evaluating food by combining objective measurement results with human senses was conveyed. When I told them that it takes effort to fully enjoy the various information that food contains using their five senses, the high school students seemed to be serious about the soup stock and focused on feeling the flavor. The students' behavior when they conducted the cupcake experiment was as follows. When the batter was observed under a microscope, it was found that the air bubbles were inserted in different ways, and many people were surprised to see the difference. The moment they took the baked cake out of the oven, they were again surprised to find that the way it rose and the color of the cake was noticeably different. When I explained the differences between the two types of cakes, I was impressed by the way they listened intently. Furthermore, 
When I told the students that they could control the dishes they wanted to make by scientifically understanding how food is prepared, the students looked satisfied. Here are some impressions from participants. I used a pipette for the first time in my dashi experiment. She was able to experience the unknown quantity of microliters and learned a lot. I had a lot of fun doing experiments that I couldn't experience in high school. In experiments using pipettes, it was found that even a small amount can greatly affect the results. I now understand that precision is important when it comes to cooking and experimenting, so I hope to utilize this knowledge in my future dishes. Next, I will report on case 2. The implementation outline is shown here. The cupcake experiment method is the same as case 1, so it will be omitted. Before starting the experiment, the teacher asked the students what differences they thought would appear between cakes with different amounts of sugar. We then described the expected differences in as much detail as possible. Afterwards, there was time for each group to share their predictions. In this way, it is thought that having enough time to make predictions is effective in allowing participants to have an observational perspective during the experiment. It is hoped that experiments will be more than just work and will encourage the development of the ability to understand phenomena from a scientific perspective. In the notes written by the students. Be sure to make predictions before conducting an experiment doing so will clarify your perspective. Imagining and considering the results will help you develop a perspective that allows you to notice differences you will be able to observe carefully. Here are some impressions from participants. I was very surprised at how the finished product could change so much depending on the amount of ingredients. Also, I would have been happy if my prediction of what would happen in advance turned out to be correct, and even if it was wrong, I was able to find a new perspective. I was also able to realize the importance of thinking while working. I once made cupcakes and cut the amount of sugar in half because I didn't want to gain weight. I remember it being delicious at that time. In this experiment, I realized that this was the cause. I was surprised that the hardness, the color, and texture could change so much just by changing the amount of sugar. We asked the Board of Education and two high school teachers involved in the collaboration to look back on this activity from three perspectives. Comments from each person are listed below. First, I thought that by experiencing university classes, would be able to clarify my career goals and expand my career options. We believe that by studying with university students, it will be easier to imagine what kind of content you will be learning at university, and there will be fewer gaps after entering university. The second is that you can gain deep learning that is difficult to learn in high school classes. You will have the opportunity to attend live lectures from professors at the cutting edge of research and have the opportunity to ask questions directly. We also thought that it would be possible to learn experientially the skills and learning methods required after entering university. Board of Education For Students Introducing a researcher's perspective to high school students and learning solutions based on scientific evidence. Connecting to career development by allowing students to experience university learning. For faculty and staff. Make people realize the benefits of connecting high school and university. The second is a comment about what they felt after working together. The following comments were made by high school teachers. Cooking experiments can be conducted in high schools, but they do not have the equipment to analyze the experimental results or the skills to handle the equipment. For this reason, up until now, it has not been possible to conduct experimental verification using actual objects or actual experiences. This time, the university provided equipment, which enabled the students to understand the correct method of verifying experimental results and allowed them to consider the experimental results they had seen and experienced with their own eyes. In addition, there are many things that are useful not only for students but also for high school teachers to improve their classes, and I learned a lot about how to ask questions to students, conduct experiments, and verify methods, all of which I would like to incorporate into future classes. I was able to learn how to teach students to formulate a hypothesis, experiment, and think about it, rather than just showing them the answer right away.
The Board of Education made the following comments to faculty and staff. They felt the effectiveness of practicing lessons from a scientific perspective. For example, in the cooking training, we taught students not only that the food was delicious, but also had them think about the rationale behind it, which led to improvements in the lessons. I felt that this would be an opportunity to improve the quality of teaching staff. Through this collaborative project, faculty and staff are now updating their knowledge. Finally, we asked them about their hopes for future collaboration. The following comments were received. Public high schools have detailed annual lesson plans, so if you incorporate this into your lesson plans at the beginning of the school year, I think more schools will want to participate and cooperate. We believe that joint classes and joint research with university students throughout the year, rather than one-time spot collaboration, can further increase student interest. I also believe that if not only students but also high school teachers participate in university classes, more teachers will be able to improve their classes from a new perspective. By collaborating with high schools, universities, and the Board of Education, it has become possible to conduct highly specialized courses that go beyond academic subjects, which would be difficult to implement in regular classes alone. In the future, we plan to collect data and quantitatively analyze how students' interests and understanding have changed as a result of implementing these courses. We plan to continue this research so that we can demonstrate meaningful results as practical research. Thank you for your attention.